Boss boss, alam mo Aerox. Pasok na lang kuya. Una kong nakita ang Mio noong 2008. Iba pa ang mga panahon na yun. Kakagraduate ko lang sa kolehiyo, sariwa at hindi palaspag sa mga problema, realidad at obligasyon sa buhay. Isa sa mga pinakinaabangan ng taon 2017 ang Yamaha Mio Aerox. Ang daming hindi nakatulog dahil dito. Ang daming inaway ng mga shota at asawa dahil wala nang ginawa kundi mag-research ng mga specs at makipagtalo sa ibang tao sa internet. Nawala rin naman alam tungkol dito. Simula nang na-launch yung Aerox, halos araw-araw na bombahan ng makina ng mga request na i-review na ito agad. Araw-araw, sersak, yung Aerox, kailan ba lalabas? Sak, sersak, labas yun na, please. Pasensya na mga paps, mga mams. Matagalan tayo dahil sa LTO. Bilis nila maglabas ng papel eh. Pero, eto na tayo ngayon. The Yamaha Mio Aerox just upped the game in their segment, 155cc engine. It's the most powerful stock Mio yet. It's liquid-cooled, four-stroke, single overhead cam, four valves, fuel injected, and LED for headlights and taillights. The Aerox has VVA technology, or variable valve actuation. It helps give you strong torque at low speed and power at high speed. Sa madaling sabi, para siyang turbo. Magla-light up yung VVA indicator pag nag-activate sa meter panel pag bumalo ka na ng mga 6,000 RPM. Let's get down to it. How fast can the Aerox go? 14.8 horsepower. Rider weight, 170 pounds. Take a look at the Aerox right now. Uh, first thing I want to commend Yamaha is this. I'm totally digging the kill switch with a side stand. So that's good for me. So one of the other things the Aerox has is this. It did a little compartment. And you can plug in your phone over there if you need to charge it or maybe a power bank. Uh, the gas tank, you just gotta press this button over here. And this thing flips open. So that's pretty nice. If you notice, yung Aerox, para siyang hybrid ng Sniper at ng Mio. Meaning you got this this uh, chassis part over here. As opposed uh, sa Mio, wherein you have a step-through step board. And you might be thinking, Oh, Zach, paano yan? Di na kami makapaglagay ng grocery at gulay. Well, kaya nga siya tinatawag na step board, hindi gulay board eh. Okay, let's take a look at the gauge. Very nice. Uh, that's what you call Yamaha Blue. Very easy to operate. You only have this one button to worry about. Functions, so that's your battery right over there. Uh, your odometer. And you got your trip meter. You got your fuel economy going on there. And your average fuel consumption. Lahat na ata nang lumapit sa akin para sa Aerox. Puro features ang tinanong eh. Lahat na eh. Ilang litro? 4.6 liters. Malaki. Full case, kasha po. Pa tayo. Tsaka blue core, tipet. Blue core. Ayan o. Hindi po, meron po itim tsaka blue. Sige pa, thank you. Walang problema sa checkpoint. The ride of the Aerox sets it apart clearly. Lapat, sigurado at solid yung tindig. Sa Mio i125, medyo mas ramdam mo yung kalye. Sa Aerox, para kang nakasakay sa isang siguradong pusta. Panalo. Brakes are good, not prone to skidding at all. Wow! Now, I'm braking this really hard. Great! Gas consumption. Okay, papi. Gantayan. We have to take it in its proper context. We can't really compare this to the Mio i125. Mas maliit makin na nun eh. Hindi porkit naka blue core para pareho ng konsumo nila. 
Depende pa rin sa laki ng makina. Now, look at it this way. If the Aerox did not have blue core, mas malakas yung konsumo niya sa gas. There are backbones out there consuming more gas na manual transmission pa. Yan ang advantage ng blue core. For a 155cc engine na automatic, sobrang pasok to. You get your power, but you won't be paying for more gas. Let's do the math. In my feature of the Mio i125, I got a low of 45 kpl and a high of 55 kpl. So yung average nun is about 50 kpl. Sa Aerox, I got a low of 39.0356 kpl and 39.409 kpl. Now, that was kind of well while riding. Then, I tried tipid mode, not going above 50 kph, you know, relaxed riding. I got 48.488. So, average of the Aerox is about 42 kpl. So for the sake of computation, it round off na natin to 40 kpl. Okay? To compare the two, just for the sake of, sa kada 100 kilometers na tinakbo mo sa Mio i125, ang gasos mo don ay 100 pesos. Sa Aerox naman, ang gasos mo ay 125 pesos. You save 25 pesos. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa kada 1,000 kilometers na tinakbo mo sa Mio i125, 250 pesos ang masasave mo. Ngayon, may magsasabi, Sir Zach, 250 pesos pa rin yun eh. Bigat! Okay. If that 250 peso savings every 1,000 kilometers is bothering you, ito gawin nyo. Kung may budget ka na 100 pesos kada merienda tuwing alas 3 ng hapon sa trabaho, imbes na ubusin mo yan sa isang burger meal, kumain ka nalang ng fita at... Pagkana buko juice? Fita at buko juice. Masisave mo 80 pesos a day. Sa 10 araw, 800 pesos na masisave mo. Sa isang buwan, 2,400. See? May panghulog ka na sa Aerox. Yamaha has been dominating this segment for years. Clearly, when you say automatic, they know what they are doing. The Yamaha Aerox 155 excels in terms of handling, ride, and power. It's got blue core, substantial tech for us customers. Price point, yes, the most expensive stock meal yet, but for me, it's justified. At 99800 that's a lot of motor for your money. The Yamaha Aerox 155, lead with speed. Come in.